Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to Minecraft where we are creating the Burrell class Bird of Prey. I am just right now uh, kind of going through and removing this border and all this stuff down on the ground because I'm not going to really need it anymore because we got a good layout of the ship which I will show you in in a minute. You could probably see, oops, what happened there? Uh, which you could probably see a little bit in the background. Let's go ahead and fix this. Um, you know, I've actually really haven't done a whole lot of work uh, within the actual game itself. But as you can see, I've actually started adding in the blasters, which we'll take a quick look at that here in a minute. But I went into MC Edit to go ahead and mirror the wing that I've done on this one side onto the other side so we can get a good view of the entire ship in its entirety. Uh, there's a still a few little details that I need to go in and add on so the outside is not 100% complete and I'm going to be working on trying to get some of that done today but uh, I wanted to go ahead and cut in and show you all exactly how big this ship really is. I mean it's now you really do get an, a very good idea on yeah, even though it's 110 meters, which in Star Trek standards is a small type, you know, Scouts class ship. I mean, in reality, it's, it really is kind of a bit of a huge ship. Uh, I can't really say that enough. I know I said that before, but I'm just, I'm just really kind of surprised. I mean, most of the references that we've had was, you know, on how big the ship was, you know, in relation to an actual person standing next to it was Star Trek three and four, but they obviously got the size of that ship down wrong when they had you know Kirk and Spock and you know the rest of the crew standing outside the ship especially in Star Trek 4 so uh, we're almost done here and then we'll take a look at it so if you can't get an idea of how big that I mean you know of scale right now but this is it I mean there's the wingspan and I mean just Starting here, this is the begin front of the ship, just going through here. I mean, it, it takes a while. This is 110 meters. Uh, give or take, it might probably be a... Okay, I got to finish that real quick, but it might probably be a little bit shorter than what it was before, or, you know, or not shorter, but a little bit longer than 110. Actually, I know it is because we added in a couple of extra uh, details here. But it's pretty darn close. It might be, I might have added maybe about 4 or 5 meters here, 4 or 5 meters up there. So it's not quite 110, but it's pretty darn close to it. So it's big enough, I mean, close enough to scale. And even, you know, wing to wing, I mean, the thing is just absolutely huge. I could only imagine, you know, if this is 110 meter in this ship, I mean, how big the Enterprise probably is. So maybe on a future episode, we'll actually compare that let me take a look at do this while i'm still thinking about it uh you probably have noticed that the ship is no longer on the center and it's actually even raised i had a problem when i was working on these on these guns here that i didn't quite have the ship up high enough because some of the details that i needed to add was the bottom portion of of the outside guns and there seems to be kind of like a little dome at the bottom of this of this secondary hall that i couldn't quite get in because i mean i was already maxed out to the bottom of the uh the bottom of the ship so uh, and i apologize if you might hear my cat in the background meowing to me so um uh, what is it what do you want do you want out or do you want to be pet it's you want one of those two, I know. Which one? I don't know. Uh, oh, wait, did I change this? Hold up. Something is... Oh, yeah, I must have... Okay. I must have modeled that and changed it. So let me do... Let me go ahead and do this real quick. All right. I'll need a copy. I'm probably going to end up copying all this again anyway, so I'm mirroring it, but... For some reason, I didn't do this, but I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, so I went ahead and put it, and we'll take a look at it from the top because that's where it's really kind of impressed, where it looks really impressive is from the top. I mean, this is such an interesting, you know, in my opinion, very interesting-looking ship. I could just, I think a lot of people were very impressed with this ship when it first was seen on screen. I mean, so we'll take a look at it. 
and there it goes. I uh, still need to add some extra de I mean, detailing along the this. I'm still not quite happy with this. I was trying to work on a couple of things, but I abandoned it because I wanted to mirror it over there so I can get an idea of how the ship looked. And as you can also see, I've added in a couple of little extra details on the back of the ship. I'm not 100% happy with that, so I'm going to go back in and revisit that. Uh, some reason it didn't all completely model on this side, but we can fix that really easily. I think that's about it. Yep, that's it. Uh, but, you know, just a couple of little extra details there. I'm going to start working again on this back portion. I need to kind of taper that out. And also, I found a good bottom view of the ship of how the wing's supposed to look. So I need to kind of remodel that. But uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to go over here and finish this one little detail on the bottom portion of the... Th or take a, let's take a closer look at this. So, let's see. I think I tried this once before. I don't think you could put carpet on the bottom. No, you can't. I wonder if there's a way to fake it. But uh, what I went ahead and did is, I mean, it's very crude, but for the size of these, not thrusters, these cannons, the limitations of Minecraft, you can only do so much. So, you know, right here I put some carpet at the top. So it didn't look like it was, because this right here actually kind of surrounds, and, and I think in the movie we see this piece slide back whenever it fires. So I went ahead and threw, yeah, there's, that doesn't look right right there, but most people won't see that, threw this little carpet at the bottom. So it looks like there's like a little bit of a lip, so it's not flush. Wish I could do that at the bottom, and I don't think that there's any green Slab, no, you know, we got purple slabs, redstone slabs, but no green slabs. Um, oh, well, it's a shame. Why are you? Oh, that's right. Let's do that and then that. There we go. Uh, but I didn't get to finish this bottom portion, so I'm going to take care of that to kind of try rounding that off a little bit. And I might go back again and try to revisit some of this. Um, you know, as I get. You know, I get better, I get ideas, and I get better with things. So we go there, 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 whoops, there, 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 then, whoops, not there, there. Let's see, yeah, that looks there. There we go. And then, whoops. Actually, we'll make this one more flat. There. There. There we go. And there's the cannon. Let's see. I might also add in, while I'm thinking about it, a little bit of detail right there. I kind of like how that looks. Yeah, might be a little bit too much. Yeah. Only if it can go a different direction horizontal I might add that in but I don't like the way that looks but that kind of gives it a little bit more look a little bit more technical maybe if I add something in there maybe well, let's see oh wait no I got an idea where is it I don't think I have that anymore is it uh Inderod I think is what I'm looking for let's see oh wait no nope, that's not what I wanted ah there we go See, probably put like those in right there, maybe. Just just to kind of add in like some details of some some conduits and stuff like that. Actually, I like that that you could do that with it. That I did not know. And see what happened if I did that. Oh, I like that. Only thing I don't like is it's the coloring and that little sparkle deal, but. That gives me an idea of some th other stuff that I could do. Maybe in engineering. We'll see what happens. But that's that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more work on the bottom portion of the wing. And I'll cut back in and show you what I've done. I'm kind of grinding away at this for quite some time now. But I'm almost done. So I thought it would be a good time for me to cut back in. This is always kind of the tedious part of 
modeling within Minecraft, uh, in my opinion, is, you know, but you're actually doing two things at the same time. You're not only modeling, but you're trying to texture, and that's kind of the biggest, the big thing. But that, for the most part, is the underside of the wing, uh, minus some of the little details. Uh, back here, we went ahead. I noticed at the bottom, well, I went ahead and fixed this little area there so it's more of a slant just like it is actually in the actual model and there was looked like there was like some vents that was visible on the underside and now that i think more about it i remember seeing that in the model that i used to have so we modeled those vents in i uh, tried something a little bit here and i might keep that in uh, might not i haven't quite decided to try to get a little bit more depth and textures and details along at the bottom let me toggle the downfall here there we go and it is day again all right and i started grinding away at this part which is the underside feathers of the wings i haven't put in the the feather details i mean i haven't even really figured out what to do with the top portion let alone the bottom portion but there are options of the colors of what I can use. And even with that, I could use some of the, like the sandstone steps here to actually give some depth and texture and stuff uh, from underneath it. So, I mean, like, you know, we'll compare. It's like right here is, that's what I'm using, this red block. But if I use smooth redstone, it kind of goes to a slightly different color. Oops, sand will not work. I don't know why I thought I could use sand. But then you could use orange wool, which gives it a lightly different color. And then you could use these blocks to, or these these here, to kind of give in different textures and different layers. I don't think there is anything else. Well, yeah, there's also... A uh, block of redstone that's already a oh, red wool. Let's try some of that to see how that looks. Okay, it gives it a slightly different little bit of a texture to break it up. So with that being said, I mean, we could really do a whole lot of different options down at the bottom portion of this ship. Now, I can't use red carpets. Maybe block of redstone. Let's take a look at that. At don't think it's going to eh, maybe I'll keep those there for future references but I mean I could definitely get into a lot more uh, details with the bottoming bottom feathering on this so and I'm gonna be working a bit on that off screen I see a little issue that I need to do here I think I was couldn't decide whether if I wanted to go oh, not that uh, here couldn't decide how far in I wanted to go before I started feathering it, I think. So right there, I was trying three. But uh, that's the bottom portion of the wings. And I minus some of this little surface details that I need to do. I'm uh, just going to, before I model it back onto that side, I'm going to make sure that I get everything on that side. And on this vent, I went ahead and I went three down. And let me try this. Okay, let me, okay, just experimenting here because, you know, you got to kind of try to work on a fine balance of depth and texture. So let me try some black wool or actually let me keep this nether brick. I can always double it up. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that. Oops, and there. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, there you go. Kind of gives it a little bit of depth. I might probably move them in one block to see how that works, but gives it a bit of texturing, a little bit of depth, and that's what you got to do because you know, when you're modeling with this, I think I, yeah, I said it before, you got to both think about modeling um, and texturing all at the same time. I mean, I could model the whole thing, and I kind of started doing it right there where I modeled the whole thing one color, then go and put in all the little extra details. But now I'm, 
in the back portion, I'm trying to think of texturing or, well, started going to the wings. I'm trying to think of texturing as I'm modeling at the same time. So it's less work for me. So you got to think two things at the same time. As opposed to modeling, I mean, you can model it and you can get as detailed as you want here. You got to kind of get creative with some of the lines and, uh, you know, some of the lines to try to smooth them out and get them to look almost exactly the way you want them to. And the smaller the the model, the the more trouble you're going to have. And on my next model, I'm really going to have trouble doing it. You know, because there'll be a very small, very small ship that we'll be working with. But on this, this is so far looking pretty nice. I mean, considering about as small as it is. I mean, if I was to do the Enterprise, you know, the Enterprise D or the Sovereign class or something like that. I mean, it's the size of that ship. You know, you could really kind of smooth out a lot of the details. I mean, you have a lot more room, a lot more mesh that you can get some of the details in right. So this one here, not so much. Okay, I just want to make sure that that wasn't going down. I could have sworn I still had that set for uh, day, day night cycle off. All right. Uh, let's see. Now, right around in here somewhere, now this is what I'm trying to think of about is, let me look at this bottom portion of the ship again. I got it pulled up here. Okay. Looks like that, yeah, it's pretty much there, but there is a, looks like a little bit of a gray area. So I don't know, let's see. Little small gray detail that shoots out right there there. Do I want to use that or do I want to use that? You know what? Let's use them both. Just to get that, once again, that little depth, texture, and detail that we were talking about. Uh, let's see. Now, I know back here somewhere there's supposed to be a, uh, a ramp. But I don't think, I know in the movie they showed it to be here, but I don't think from looking at the, this, this picture that I'm looking at, which looks like it was from Search of Spock, doesn't look like that ramp can be there. So I'm going to go ahead and pretend, wait, one, two, okay, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and just assume that the ramp is not there and the ramp is more lower and on that bulb at the bottom and a little dome at the bottom. So I'm going to add in this detail here without, because I was originally going to consider that the ramp was here because here's cargo, uh, deck space and stuff. But I think we could still put the ramp back there because I think cargo, you know, the 30 meter long cargo bay stops right around in there so we could put that in or I really don't even have to model it I mean I have my own ideas on how you know one can get into this ship uh, actually oh, that's good enough let me do that actually let me do this again it looks like there's that detail that kind of does, does that depth and texturing everybody depth and texturing uh, let's see, I'm going to need one more. There. 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 Actually, it looks like we would do that. 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 There. 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 And there. Yep. Whoops. And there. Now it looks like it just goes straight out. I'm hoping it doesn't blend upward, but even if it does, it's meeting still along with those lines. So I'm happy with that. And then it looks like from here, right about to there to there is more engine air, engine type areas. And I'm going to put in an extra layer of redstone right here. And uh, to kind of show engines, because uh, I mean, whether whether for instead of it being just one, so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to work on these back engines portions, and I'll cut right back in, and then we'll call it episode. I'll be right back. And now back again. The back portion of the engine is kind of done. I think I may. 
let's see, I may probably go ahead and try to lower, you know, shorten it. Oh, hold up, I'm going to let my cat out. All right, sorry about that. Cat was just howling like crazy. Uh, but anyways, as I was saying, I'm going to go ahead and try lowering this here. I think I might, or raise it up a little bit. I think it might be a bit too low. It just looks a little bit off. So let's see. So we need to add in that row there. And it shouldn't take too long. And I know this bottom portion isn't going to light up like that upper portion, but I kind of like the way that that one looks. You know, the top portion is going to kind of light up a little bit, and that looks pretty good, but that one looks even better. Almost kind of shows that there might be two different types of engines there, so I'm not too terribly displeased with that. I can, I mean, I could always go back and change it. I mean, oops. And I know I keep pushing the wrong buttons still, and my fingers are, they're getting better, and I'm going to be going to the doctor tomorrow to have him look at it, just to, he's going to give me the yay or nay about whether if they are actually healing right. I don't want to get in too much detail, but one of the fingers, and I don't remember if I've mentioned this before, but one of the fingers looks like it has quite a bit of unnecessary movement into it you know i because when i injured my fingers i also broke broken one of them and i'm not 100 positive if it's healed back yet so um okay that, i'm not going to worry about that that's that daylight night cycle again but yeah okay that looks a little bit better in fact i might end up trying to i don't know looks like that needs to be flipped over what do y'all think but that back portion is done so with the wings being done and that portion being done uh, the ship looks almost like it's um you know almost like it's you know completed from the outside i mean we're almost done so we can start working on the interiors now uh, and you know but i just realized also because of that i took off our access to get inside but no big deals i already kind of have an idea kind of star trek-ish on how to get from the inside to the outside of the ship uh, you know how do they do it in this series well pretty much the same way but we'll work on that in the last episode uh, i'm going to go ahead and call the episode quit right now well yeah, yeah let's let's go through another quick little uh, fly through through the ship on that and then we'll call it a quick little end of the episode just take a look at it uh, well i do have access up into the front portion let's go inside and see how that looks real quick because i don't have the turret closed off nope i don't i need to start working on wait can we can i get inside maybe i can't oh well nope never mind it made a liar out of me i don't think i can get inside here oh okay no i well all right, I'll fix that later. There we go. And... Yes. See, I don't think that... Nope, it don't. It don't. Too bad that that redstone doesn't uh, light up. Kind of interesting that it doesn't, considering about how, you know, redstone, when it's powered, it lights up. I don't think this powers up when it lights up. I think it just stays. Yeah, it doesn't light up. Puts, turns the torch off, though, but it itself doesn't light up. You know what? I might actually use that for the uh, front portion here. You know, the um, the cloaking array, actually. Let's take a look at that real quick. I know I was going to call episode, uh, end of the episode, but I, I really want to take a look at that real quick. I think we're looking pretty good on time. I think we might still be under 15 minutes or pretty close to 15 minutes. So let's take a look at that. Let me just work on this uh, room here. Let's see. What if I did that real quick? 
because one thing about this redstone block, it already has texture added into it. I mean, all these blocks do have some texture into it, and I might start working on my own texture pack to use for this, uh, but only when I'm comp when I'm done, because I don't want to. Yeah, I, I think I like that better than the old one. Uh, y'all, let me know what y'all think. But yeah, I think I kind of like that 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 look on it better than the old one. I think it does. But anyways, texture pack is I might end up. I don't want to do the texture pack first before I finish doing this because I would like to try to have it to where it still looks pretty much like the ship if you use your as close as possible if you use just the standard texture pack that comes with vanilla minecraft but if you choose to you then you can use uh my texture pack that i'm planning on using to to make it look even more like the ship but also i have to think about that you know i'm going to be making a ship here then a different ship and then a different ship so you know the texture if i try to model the texture pack to fit this it might not look the same with the other ship. So, well, we'll look into that a little bit better. So, yeah, I'm going to keep that. I like that. I'll do the others. I mean, well, I don't know. Let's you you tell me. There's that or that. Because I think this now yeah, or that. No, I don't quite like that. Maybe that. I don't know. I'll look into it on both sides and we'll figure it out. So, all right, but I'm going to go ahead and call an episode right there. This is B Belt Den. I want to thank y'all for watching. This is the Burrell class bird of prey in Minecraft. And I will see you in the next episode.